but there's a little street market over here, so we're gonna go check that out. I don't know if you can hear me over the horns. You can take pictures and video, just no flash. This place is insane. All right, we finished the inside of the Duomo. Now we can go up to the top. 45 meters, 251 steps. <laughs> yeah, I think we made it. Oh well, yeah, we made it. degrees up here. This is really cool. Making the ascent down now. It's a narrow little stairwell. All right, we made it down. Back to the local scene. They're called Panzerottis, right? Let me get some more of those Panzerottis. Forest tip. Um, come on a weekday. Weekends have lines. Fridays and weekends have lines everywhere. Lunch line. Mm. We're in the Navili district, I think is how you pronounce it. Looking for somewhere to eat, watch out for the puddle. Looking for somewhere to eat. People are laughing at me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty neat area. It's like right along a river. Even though there's no river there right now, I think it's only in the summer. It's not a river, it's a canal. It's a canal, I, but I think there's only water in the canal during the summer, because there's nothing in it right now. <laughs> it's just mud. This is what the canal looks like. There's a bunch of little bridges that cross over back and forth on both sides. It's a really cool part of town. If you're ever in Milan, make this one of your spots. The Navili district. All right, we found a nice restaurant. You're playing m, &M. and <laughs> This is what it's called. Cool, well. The vibe here is pretty neat. Despite the m, &M it's so cool. Despite the m, &M it's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Do you have a picture? Good morning, everybody. Today we are in Milan. We're leaving the city. We're going north to Lake Como and Bergamo. Goals for today, take some sick photos, see some cool sights, eat some good food. Anything else? No, that's it. We have arrived in Como. It's raining, can't see the mountains. Kind of a bummer. Hopefully it clears up a little bit. But there's a little street market over here, so we're gonna go check that out. I don't know if you can hear me over the horns. <laughs> There's a street market. We're gonna go check it out. Seems to stretch on for quite a while. All right, we left the market. There wasn't much there for us. So now we're just walking around, I think the like historic area of Como, the town. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool town. I wish I could see the mountains though. The rain is kind of putting a damper on things, but we're in Italy, so we can't complain. So we're at the edge of Lake Como or Lago di Como, but super rainy and foggy out. It's surrounded by mountains, right? Yeah, that's usually the lake is surrounded by mountains. I mean, it still is. You just <laughs> you can't see them. But you can see all the villas on the hill over there. That's pretty cool. So kind of a bummer that you can't see anything, but can't really complain considering where I am. So we came down this pier to get a better view of all that. Still can't really see it that well. So we're gonna go back into... So I hate Italy, man. Fun fact about Como. You wanna tell, you wanna tell the viewers? The inventor of the battery was born and from here. So all these monuments are commemorating him. Volta, which is where the word volts comes from. And where today.
We just came down to the to the water side. We got some really cool time lapse and photos. The fog is somewhat letting up on the mountainside. That looks super eerie. It's really cool. Done, so we're gonna go get some food now. I don't know where to eat, there's lots of options. Got our meals at risotto, maybe you got the carbonara. Wine, of course. Can I lock the door? Okay, so I just made it to Bergamo. GPS took us in 45 different directions and then we told us to go down wrong streets. I went to an area where the security was like, you can't be in here. Finally, we're in Bergamo. Still can't see much, tons of fog, bad weather, but just still be a, still be a good time, I think. We're gonna go above ground, check it out. So Bergamo is full of younger people, which is fun. We found a Christmas market that's already running. It is a Christmas market, right? It is a Christmas market. It is so fun. Look how cool this is. So we're in the main, I guess the historic district of Bergamo now. A really cool vibe here. And literally this trip just revolves around like food and drinks. But I thought that's the best way to experience a country. So I don't feel bad about it. So we just had dinner. Really delicious. I had gnocchi. Maybe had a pizza. And uh, I think we're gonna wrap the night up here and head back to Milan, stay in our Airbnb for the night and head out in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Another morning in Milan. Today is our last day here. So we're gonna get the car, bring it back down to the Airbnb, pack up, and we're gonna go to the mountains today. Some pretty cool places. We made a pit stop in Suave. It's about two or three hours east of Milan. It's kind of on the way back home, but it's a wine town. They make really delicious wine here. People know what Suave wine is. It's like the most famous wine from Italy. It's like Suave Chianti, Chianti and that's it. But it's really beautiful here. Fun fact about Suave, um, it was built a really long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> So we came here to get wine. All the wine stores are closed. Everything else is open, but the wine stores are closed. Whoops! Second pit stop on our journey home is a small town called Spiazzi, but there's a church called the Madonna della Corona, which is somewhere down here. Somewhere down there. But it's this big church and it's like kind of built into the side of the mountain. So we're gonna go check it out and see if we can find it. So this church built into the mountain, literally built into the mountain. I was kind of misunderstanding it. And I thought it was just kind of like a shallow area and then it was built onto the side. But this is like hundreds of feet on both the upside and the downside. So this is incredible. I just got a whole bunch of cool photos. Instagram in the bio. Go see it. This is a place of worship. So we just came from all the way up there, even over that cliff. We just finished the Stations of the Cross, which winds all the way down that road. Robbie's teaching me how to vlog because I still don't know how to do it. And so now we're going through the cave. Let's go. Robbie. Not to the worship area yet. Robbie's Catholic, but you wouldn't know by how he acts. He was baptized Catholic. So, so I was wondering if this church was like built into the into the cliff or not. It's definitely built in. Mm 
That was a successful visit. Time to go home for real. Little pit stop, pretty close to the Austrian border. It's really funny in this area. It's we're still in Italy, but everything's very Austrian right now. And everything is in like three different languages. They have it in English, German, and Italian. It's kind of like a weird part along the border. It's kind of cool though. No speed limit. Just trying to get home though. Ended up taking a bit long way in some traffic, so I'm taking advantage of the, uh, the no speed limit. We'll be home soon. Almost home. Woo we're back in Germany, back home. So the Italy trip is officially over.